Imagine being given your greatest gift and the worst possible news all on the same day. Well, as most TT viewers know, that's what happened to our very own Sally Obermeter. As she was about to have her first baby, she was told that she had an aggressive form of breast cancer. Well, four months on, baby Annabelle is Sally's joy and her strength as she endures countless chemotherapy sessions. Well, tonight, Dr John Darcy has this special report on her progress and the support that keeps Sal going. Every day is just so long, torturous, and it feels, I feel like when we last met, it was about five years ago. The chemo is the worst. The chemo is so painful. That has been the worst, but I think equally as bad is just having my time with Annabelle so fragmented and so inconsistent and not how I imagined it to be. Endless chemotherapy, chronic pain, battling an aggressive tumour instead of the joy of bonding with her newborn Annabelle. It's just not how motherhood should be. I'm so weak that I can't even get up to feed her or change her nappy or, or cuddle her. All I can do is kind of look at her as I'm lying there sick as a dog. But with the utter despair come the special moments. A fundraiser starring her many friends, not just at Seven, but the other networks too. Plus, a photo shoot with Ann Geddes and a shopping trip with fashion designer Alex Perry. People are rallying behind Sally and her cause. I've had so much support and that's been undoubtedly, if you can have a highlight of cancer, that's been the highlight. You know, like it has been incredible to feel that love. But the bad times are very bad and far too frequent, usually following a round of chemotherapy. I just end up lying on the floor in the shower, just sobbing, just sobbing for hours because there's no escape. There's no, you can't sleep it off. You can't take painkillers. You can't take anything. How effective has the chemo been over the last four months? My tumor obviously was quite huge. It was like the size of a tennis ball. So it's still pretty big. Um, it has it has shrunk a little bit, but it's still pretty big. And what they're mostly concerned about is that not just is this tumour big, but if there are any other cancer cells elsewhere in my body, that even though at the moment they've scanned them and there are no tumours, but if you stop the chemo and that one cancer cell in six months time becomes a tumour, then there's a real, there's real danger. What's the cancer specialist said about the road ahead? They've said to me basically, if this cancer comes back, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. There's, you know, you might get five years, you might get seven years. <laughs> That's it. I'm not interested in five years or seven years. You know, I just uh, like to live to a ripe old age. Sal now faces three to four months of chemotherapy and the realisation a double mastectomy may be her only option. I think I've actually finally accepted the seriousness of it. I realise, well, better that than dying. She's tough and she's managing some pretty difficult chemotherapy with a lot of uh, fortitude. Sally's cancer specialist, Professor Fran Boyle of the Mater Hospital. We know this kind of breast cancer sometimes spreads and in a way that's really the big worry. And I, I think that's where she's focused on at the moment is just long-term survival, especially with a new baby. That's the absolutely the key thing uppermost in her mind. Being sick just makes everything very simple. It's very simple. And really what you realise is the only thing that matters are your friends and family. I can feel the love, I can feel the support, I can feel the encouragement. I feel so happy. I so desperately want to get through this. I so desperately want it to be over so that I can focus on nothing else but her. You know, I want just, I don't want to go to doctor's appointments and blood tests and chemo and I don't want to be sick. I just want to be her mum. The thing that I've waited for my whole life, I just want to do it. She is such a beautiful and amazing fighter. There's a lot of support and a lot more information about Sal's fight, including some behind the scenes photo galleries on our website, yahoo7.com.au slash today tonight. And